pick a boo. Ah! Oh, Scab tries to feed Mitchell another olive substitute, but he just misses the feed hole. While Monica digs deep, Taylor digs in. I've got my kitty cat clutch. Mediva and Scab don't seem to be cat people either. We are the uh, defenders. Marco's legs get power washed, and an unfortunate tumble leaves him playing catch up. Over here, Marco! Don't fall for it, Marco. She doesn't have your best interests at heart. Mitchell jumps and goes down. Oh, that was close. Luckily, Marco's got a laser sense of how near or far he is to all the obstacles. Yep, just like a laser. That bodyless splash means Monica's in the drink. The annihilating arm spots Monica, and the defenders zero in as she dangles helplessly. No style points for Taylor as she lunges for the twosome and things get gruesome. Oh, and an unsuspecting Taylor gets slimed and cannonballed by Fatal. And Marco learns nothing from history. Wow, all the defenders have really turned it up a notch now, including the arm which is single-armedly taking out Monica. Hey, that wasn't fair. <laughs> Guys, can we get these... Now Marco keeps a low profile under the clobbering cannons. But can't escape the slime stick. Here goes Monica. And now we have Taylor crossing to the Royal Ramps. Mediva, let's cross streams. Scoop calls the dreaded Ghostbusters play. And Taylor counters with a little bit of sass. This could be her moment. Or not. No holding it. Marco with a winning move to elude the clobbering cannons. Yeah, oh, I slipped. Oh, another cheap shot from Coop. Thorn overcomes Monica with the vapors. And Coop slips Marco more slime. And oh! Mitchell takes a clobbering of his own. But look, in all the confusion, Taylor is poised to pounce. She digs in her claws, and while the defenders pull out all the stops... Oh, come on, guys, put that cat out. But she's up. And yes, Taylor the Tigress has cat burgled the crown. This girl is the cat's meow. Hey, kids, get out of the dire mire. Fortunately, Owen is the only one who heard you. Hey, Owen. Gives a nod to Mediva, and she says hello in her typical fashion. Looks like Daniel's the second over the barrier of all barriers. Get your splat out! <laughs> Here goes Owen across the terrifying tees. Good balance, dodging the water blast, steadying himself, and landing on the other side. And then sliding in for a swim. Come on, catch! Tyson and now Catherine both take the plunge. I'll get him down, don't worry. Lots of challenges, both physical and verbal, being directed at Owen. And off the annihilating arm he goes. Owen is sent for another shot at the annihilating arm. The arm is the one taking the shot here. Now Daniel takes his turn with Tyson taking the leap. Back to Catherine on the terrifying tease. Oh! Pulls a header! Now back to the scary go round, Owen appears trapped on the annihilating arm. Maybe Tyson can knock him off this time. Let's see. Oh. Nope, Tyson decides to keep it simple with a reverse flop and splash. Don't let it go, girl! Whoa, Catherine is really catching up. Now on the annihilating arm, I think she's ordered up some self-confidence with a little side of determination. She might need to take another look at the menu because she doesn't seem to have found the right thing to actually get her moving. Can she find a way out of the jam? Oh, sure she can. When all else fails, go splat. That was a double splat. Ew, yummy, yummy. Oh, and Owen just dodged that shot from the clobbering cannon. Looks like Catherine is still trying to find a way over the annihilating arm. Well, near the end, Owen makes a play for the Royal Ramps. Scab needs to put an end to that. Fatal, too. Nice. And Catherine is over the annihilating arm, but can't she stick her landing on the scary go round? Is Tyson allowed to just stop on the Royal Ramp? He is if he's firing slime balls at defenders. Catherine continues to hang out. Mediva can't seem to motivate her to move. I'm not sure anything can get her to move. Oh! Cook looks a little rattled. That's just his battle cry. Not another one. Owen and Daniel with the double jump. And double splat. Daniel is back up very quickly despite point blank harassment from Vane. He makes a successful leap to the Royal Ramp. Fatal, Mediva, you gotta do something. This girls versus boys contest has sure come down to boys only. Now it's back to Daniel for his shot at glory. He looks timid, but steadying himself, he successfully lands on the rock wall to victory. Oh! He's climbing up. Scab, it's up to you. It's not over yet. Daniel needs to find that final step. He's holding on. He puts his foot up and he has done it. Daniel reaches in, grabs the crown. We've got a new king of splatalots. You can let go now, Catherine. So close for Owen and Tyson. The boys have won it.